Hey guys, welcome back to Bartlett Arbor Supply. Uh, today we had per uh, request, there was a request that they wanted to see spider leg balance with additional hardware. So if you did have a couple extra tools here and there, so this is what we're gonna try and provide for you. Um, so if you have an extra spare chunk of rope, that can actually work as your spider leg balancer too. So if you forgot your actual spider leg balancer, at home you forgot it down at the base of the tree and you just said hey i got this extra chunk of rope or whatever you know sometimes we can be forgetful so like i mentioned extra piece of rope what you would do is you would start by tying your running bowline down by where you're going to cut right and there's people that set this up completely different but this is usually the way i do it so i would running bowline down here first i'd follow all the way to the end now i would actually clip this rope to my harness so that as I walk, the rope's already trailing and traveling with me so I don't have to come back 30 feet, 20 feet, however long the limb is, right? You're trying to balance out. So it's always clipped to you. And now I'll take my extra chunk of rope and what I actually tie over here is a clove hitch, right? So I got my clove hitch right here and I back it up with two half hitches. Sort of like how they used to rig back before the running bowling. So here what I've got done now is uh, I lead it back up to here and I actually use a Blake's hitch again. So it's very, fairly similar to rigging with no hardware. You actually incorporate your Blake's hitch. So Blake's hitch, back it up with a figure eight for good measure, right? Try and find the sweet spot. So remember, you want to try and find your triangle to try and balance this out. So maybe right around here, we'll call that good for the video, right? And we're going to come over here to my rig line, my stable braid. I'm actually going to pick and I'm going to start pulling up and she's a little bit tip heavy on this one but again this is your spider leg with just an extra chunk of rope it can be accomplished if you forgot your spider leg and we're actually going to show you two other methods in the video too so don't hit that end button just yet so right here what we're going to work on is uh, taking this off and while I take this off I'm actually going to show you how to spider leg with a paw plate and a rigging hub with some extra slings or extra chunks of rope. I like using Staset for my uh, slings, if you would. And the reason I go for a Staset over another rope, like pop my Polydyne right here or Stable Braid, is I actually don't want that extra stretch because I've been in situations before where that extra stretch kind of hurt me a little bit. And I've ended up using Staset and it's already pretty much as static as you can get it and it worked out a lot better for me. Again, everybody does things different but that's my input to it. So we're work on getting this clove hitch out oh, this way and I'm going to toss my makeshift spider leg right over here to the side. Take our bowling out which we can pick this up, roll that back down. And boom. So first one here, I'm going to use my Petzl paw plate, which I mentioned before has a couple of different connections. So for your knotless rigging, multiple limbs down at once. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to squeeze an anchor bend knot in here because I personally like using the anchor bend for my rigging setups. If you have a splice right directly to it, it's obviously a lot cleaner. No need for knots. So boom, we've got ball plate on there. I'm going to get some of this line up. So boom, it's holding there in place. We're going to lock this off real quick with this little stubby. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to use carabiners and long slings. Now if you know how to sew your own ropes or I mean splice and you can splice or if you want to get them sent out to get professionally industrially spliced you can also do that. Um, we usually go through at height and they do all of our splicing and our sewn eyes. So I would connect one there and sling. Number two I actually would just go right opposing from each other. Now that, that's like that, I actually just incorporate clove hitches. And that's usually how I've always done 
my spider legs is with a clove hitch. So we go here, and I'm just gonna do clove hitches on bites for to make this a little quicker. But if I had an assistance, this would actually have to be somewhere right in this area. So I pre-measured that a little bit. Clove hitch that off. And again, you back that up with two half hitches. Right? And that's a little short. Just remember to give yourself a little bit of extra rope there for you. All right, so now we're gonna come over on this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step on the rope. If you had someone on the ground, he would pull it so you can see where everything is in the system. So I'm gonna step on this just to give myself a little tension there so I can see exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Measure out how much rope you'll need, All right? And if you, like I mentioned, if you had a splice, a splicer or something, this would be a lot better for you. But I always used extra chunks of rope that have worked for me. So we're gonna go back through to create our clove hitch. Boom, right there. And then remember to capture with two half hitches. Half hitch number one, half hitch number two. All right, now this would be your moment of truth. See right, if it actually is gonna balance. Now remember, this is if you wanted extra hardware. You can do this like, I'm, like I've done in a different past video. So there we go. Second method of balancing out limbs with hardware. This has been with uh, paw plate and carabiners with extra chunks of rope. I'm gonna lower that back down. And we actually do have another method that doesn't require the use of carabiners or right this will just be removing that extra chain link in the system which we're going to work on taking this out we're going to lift this guy up get that out of our way boom disconnect number two And we've got that out of the way. This is gonna go back over here. So it may fall to the ground, may not. Stay, thank you. Now, the third method, I'm actually just gonna show, it, it'll still require my slings over there, but I won't use carabiners. So I've com I'll completely remove them out of the equation. And again, what I like doing is my double anchor bend right onto my hub. And boom, right onto the hub, right directly. Now you can add a figure eight to the end of this tail just for a backup measure if you wanted to. But once that cinch is down, it's pretty much golden. And as I mentioned, we're going to get rid of these carabiners. Put one there. Again, if you knew how to splice or have somebody stitched, it can clean up the appearance if you gave yourself a long eye just so you can girth hitch through. But a double anchor bend again here. I'm a big fan of the double anchor bend, if you can't tell. So we're going to do that. And I'm actually going to have my system a little higher, so I'll go right around there. Measure that out. And it's just going to be the same thing. Clove hitches, clove hitch, clove hitch. And you will get your balance. All right, so I'll go with my clove hitch here.
and then your two half hitches which is right there we'll come back for our second sling and like I said remove that carabiner and boom there's that one now I'm going to go ahead and do another double anchor bend Double, double, double. So I've got three anchor bends on this double anchor bend. Like I mentioned before, if you had a worker with you, ground personnel, lift this up, kind of guide you. He would lift this up to guide you how much or where it would actually be. So like right around here. And now what I'm going to do again is step on this rope just so it can guide me right there. We're going to go underneath. Right there. Give some more rope. One, two, and three. And like I mentioned, I like using Stasset because of how static it already is. Won't have that extra unwanted or maybe you forgot to calculate that stretch into the system, right? And you just didn't want it to fall that an extra two inches. So now here, you've got a perfect balance. As you can see, my hub's doing its work. Anchor bends are holding. My, double, my clove hitches backed up with two two half inches are in place they have been uh, doing the job here for me this is actually one of the ways I like to balance limbs out right here with the hub I'm a big fan of the hub or the paw plate obviously there are way more way more things you can do with a hub or a paw plate but for now that's been how to balance limbs out with extra hardware so thanks for watching the video um, hit that like button subscribe Drop a couple comments down below. Let us know how you do it or what you else you want to see. Uh, visit us at BartlettMan.com or you can Google us, Bartlett Arborist Supply. Thanks for watching.